This morning, we are continuing to follow breaking news of the key bridge collapsing into the Patapsco River early this morning. Take a look at this video. You can see on the left side of your screen, a cargo ship crashes into the base of the bridge, causing it to fall into the water. Right now, we know search and rescue efforts are underway. We are hearing that there are multiple people that remain unaccounted for. Shannon Lilly is live right now for us from one of the closest spots that we can get to right on the eastern side of the bridge at the moment with the latest information. Shannon, I know you've been watching and listening. What can you tell us? Well, it has just been absolutely horrifying, Mackenzie and Megan, to, to realize the magnitude of this from waking up this morning until now when we can fully see it here behind me. And like you guys said, the, the search and rescue effort, that is, that is the main priority right now, as we know that seven individuals are, are still likely in the water or, or somewhere in the area where, where they need to be rescued. And so as you look behind me, we're still not learning exactly what caused this cargo ship to ram into the bridge, but we are seeing this morning the aftermath of it. You can see where this bridge has just snapped in half and the cargo ship there beside it is truly like something out of a movie that we have been witnessing here this morning, a complete collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. As for the rescue efforts, we know that the U.S. Coast Guard is involved. They're using boats and a helicopter in the effort. We've been hearing choppers swirling around us all morning long. Uh, drivers are being asked to avoid the 695 corridor. As you can imagine, you're not going to be able to come through this area um, at all. And we know that two people were already removed from the water. One miraculously not injured, the other, though, taken to shock trauma. Now, we heard from Paul Wiedefield, who's the secretary of the Maryland Department of Transportation, and he reiterates that at this point, there is no indication that this was intentional. We do know that the FBI um, is here and assisting, but again, no indication that this was intentional, but still a lot of questions about how could this happen? And of course, that's what we're looking to get answers to, whether it's this morning or or as we continue to follow this throughout the week, we do know that there will be another press conference this morning at 930. So, of course, we'll be out here and we'll bring you the very latest as soon as we get it.